I wonder who the first person is that you'll think of when I ask you to think of someone who is a servant. Maybe for some of you, you think of a public servant, somebody who works uh, for the government. Uh, maybe a politician who's elected to office. Maybe you think of somebody like a counselor or uh, a medical worker who gives up uh, extra time out of their day to help people, uh, even when they don't need to necessarily help them in that moment. Maybe you think of a caretaker or uh, parents who give up their time day in and day out to prepare their kids for school, uh, to take care of an aging parent, whatever it is. There's all kinds of people that are servants. But at the root of being a servant, it means somebody who places other people above themselves. And when we look in the New Testament and we look at the picture of Jesus, he is the ideal servant. And as we're in this Holy Week and we're coming to Good Friday, we begin to see this picture of Jesus as a servant more and more and more. Uh, and eventually we're going to come to the Last Supper where he's going to wash the disciples' feet, uh, taking on this very lowly position, cleaning the disciples' feet, something uh, only truly a servant would do. But yet Jesus does it for his friends. Because Jesus wants to model what it means to be a servant. It means uh, that Jesus, even though he was the disciples' leader and their teacher and their mentor, he took the time to do something that was below his pay. He took the time to do something that they didn't expect him to do. And so today, as you're going through your day, I want you to think about how could you be a servant to somebody else? How could you do something that somebody doesn't expect you to do? How could you do something that somebody might normally see as uh, below you? But how could you do something to be a servant, to imitate Jesus' example, so that you can share the love of Christ with somebody else, maybe it's your own family, maybe it's your neighbor, maybe it's somebody you've never met before. But think of how you can be a servant today as we try and imitate Christ's love.